Hey everyone, welcome back to WP Speed Matters. In today's video, we are diving into a topic that might be harming your website's performance without you even knowing it. Query strings. Stick around to find out how they can hurt your site's speed and what you can do about it. First, let's start with the basics. What are query strings? Simply put, they are part of a URL that come after a question mark and include key value pairs. For example, in this URL, the user equal one to three part is a query string. They're often used to pass data to web applications. But did you know they can severely impact your website's performance? Let's break down how. Let's assume you've got some sort of caching, like a cache plugin, server-side caching, or edge page caching. Many caching systems treat URLs with query strings as unique even if the content is identical. Some even skip caching altogether if a query string is found. So query strings can dramatically increase your cache hit ratio. Every cache miss means the server has to handle the request, increasing the load and reducing performance. Plus, poor cache hit ratios can negatively affect your crack scores. Those are the Chrome user experience report scores that Google uses to measure real user performance. Now, there are two main types of query strings, those on pages and those on static files. Let's start with pages. On pages, there are two main types of query strings, tracking parameters and content altering parameters. Tracking parameters are used for analytics and marketing purposes and don't change the content of the page. For example, UTM parameters in your email campaigns, GCLID in Google Ads, FBCL ID added by Facebook, etc. Content altering parameters, on the other hand, do change the content of the page. Examples include search queries in WordPress, language selectors, or WooCommerce filters. So how can we fix these issues? You can configure your caching setup to ignore these tracking query parameters and still deliver cached pages. If you're using Flying Press, one of the best optimization plugins for WordPress, it'll automatically ignore most tracking queries and deliver cached pages. You can also manually add any query strings to ignore. However, if there are query strings that alter the content, you can add them to forcefully generate separate caches. Now, let's talk about static files. Most theme and plugin developers add query strings to version their assets, like style.css question mark version equal 1.0.0, where 1.0.0 is the version of the theme or plugin. But here's a catch. Each time a new version is updated, the query string changes, your CDN, caching layers, and even the browser cache have to pull the new file, even if the content hasn't changed. This means a lot of unnecessary bandwidth usage and longer load times. A better way to handle this is by using hashing. A hash is a unique string generated based on the content of the file. For example, instead of version equal 1.0.0, it would be something like version equal XYZ, where XYZ is a hash of the file's content. This hash changes only if the content of the file change. So caching layers only have to download the file if the content has changed. If you're using an optimization plugin like Flying Press, it'll automatically generate these hashes for you when you minify the assets. Why not just remove the query strings from static files, which some optimization tools do? Well, that's a terrible idea. When you remove query strings, your visitors will not get the updated files, which can break functionalities or design after updating your theme or plugins. So, to warp up, query strings can seriously harm your website's performance. By ignoring tracking query parameters, forcefully caching required parameters, and using hashing for versioning static files, you can boost your cache hit ratio and overall performance. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you want to connect with others and dive deeper into WordPress speed optimization, join our Facebook group community. What challenges are you facing in speeding up your website? Comment below. I'd love to hear from you and help you out. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.